Hello everyone, I'm so excited to share you few information about this new laptop. The model's name is Legion 5i Pro by Lenovo. While this kid unboxes it, I will take you through the specifications. Legion 5i Pro comes with Intel Alder Lake processor which is i7 12th gen 12700H, 16GB of DDR5 RAM with 4800MHz. This has got two 8GBs configured in dual channels. The GPU is 3060 mobile with 6GB of VRAM. The internal storage is Gen 4 1TB M2 SSD. The SSD is an OEM version of Samsung 980 Pro. It is the fastest of all SSDs currently available in the market, claiming 7000 MB per second. The power adapter is 300 watts and it's very huge, but this machine needs it. The battery is 4 cell lithium ion with 80 watts hour capacity. With the lightweight task, we can get the backup up to 7 hours. With the maximum power utilization, we can get the backup like maybe 2 hours. To get the maximum performance from the GPU and CPU, we should always use the power adapter. With this battery alone, we cannot achieve the full power. So the battery here is just like an UPS and not for primary use. The top panel is metal and has got the same design as the previous model. The difference is, it has got Legion trademark on it instead of Legion logo. The keyboard layout is same as the previous model with the number pad on it. The trackpad is large and convenient. The top panel is metal and all other panels are made of good quality plastic. Lifting the display panel with one hand is really easy and smooth. The hinges are rigid and does not vibrate much. The flexibility of the display is also fine. The right side, the first control is a slider switch to turn on and off the built-in camera. The next is a 3.5mm audio I.O. socket, one Type-A USB 3.2 port and the ventilation for the hot air. At the rear panel, it has got two more ventilation outlets, high-speed Ethernet port and USB Type-C with display port 1.4 and power delivery. HDMI port and two USB Type-A ports where one is always on. The next is proprietary socket for power adapter. On the left panel, it has got a ventilation, two USB Type-C ports where the one is Thunderbolt and display port, another is with display port support. The bottom panel has a wide air inlet for two cooling fans. It has got very good rubber grips at the base and provides a large gap for the air to go in. The power adapter is 300 watts and it's pretty huge. This size and power are required for this laptop to achieve its full potential. With this magnitude of power and ventilation requirements, I would call this a portable desktop than a laptop. The keyboard is really good with three different modes of RGB backlight. Good thing is it also got number pads. Let's see the boot up time. That's really fast. The feel is really nice with keyboard and trackpad. These are some important reasons for me to choose this configuration. Intel i7 12700H 2.3 GHz CPU with 14 cores having 20 threads. In that, total of 6 are performance cores and 8 are efficiency cores. The turbo speed can reach up to 4.7 GHz. The Intel Iris Xe GPU with hardware accelerated video encoding and decoding for the formats like H.264 and H.265. We can even edit 4K 60 FPS video with color grading without any lags. I have not noticed any frames being skipped while editing videos. The model I got is with NVIDIA RTX 3060, a big successor in 30 series GPU. It has got 6GB GDDR6, 3840 CUDA cores and 140W TGP. This GPU is not only good for gaming but also for parallel processing like artificial intelligence and deep learning. By default, this model comes with 16GB DDR5 RAM configured in dual channels. The storage is 1TB SSD, an OEM edition of Samsung 980 Pro with 7000 MB per second. The battery is 80W hour lithium ion with fast charging capabilities. 
Another great feature in this machine is the display. It's 16 inches WQHD IPS panel with 16 is to 10 ratio and 165Hz refresh rate. The brightness is 500 nits with Dolby Vision and NVIDIA G-Sync support. It's very rare to get a display like this. The audio quality is not bad. It has got stereo speakers with Nahimic audio enhancement. Let's check the camera quality. This one quality is good with the inbuilt microphone. The camera resolution is just 720p. This could have been better, like 1080p, but this is not bad though. The operating system is Windows 11 Home. Also, it comes with lifetime license for Microsoft Office Home and Student. And I got a nice Legion backpack along with this. I'm concluding this video by saying that this laptop is versatile with most powerful and efficient hardware. Be it an intensive gaming or video editing or rendering, it's a piece of cake. There are few more details related to Lenovo Vantage software, Mux switch, performance modes and benchmarks which we can see it in another video. Stay tuned by subscribing this channel. Thanks for watching.